Most TVs and streaming devices come with their own TV remotes, but not all of them give you the best interactive experience now, do they? Because the navigation is really slow and don't even get me started on typing because it takes ages for me to punch in my Netflix credentials. We did find a cheap and effective solution for that problem, Air Mouse. It's got a fully functional keyboard and at the touch of a button, it becomes a mouse pointer. Expensive TVs like LG and Sony have their own Air Mouse, uh, you can buy one of these off of Amazon for like $15 and as they claim all you need is a USB to connect it to any TV. But is this hack really like actual hack or is it whack? Well I was curious too so I bought one of these and in this video we'll test it out with streaming devices like Fire TV Stick, Mi Box and even TVOS like Samsung Tizen OS, WebOS, there's a bunch of those. But more importantly how effective and fast is it compared to a regular remote? Let's put it to a test and find out, shall we? So, it's got minimal buttons on one side and a full-fledged keyboard on the other. First impressions, I'd say it feels a bit cheap, but then again, it's cheap, so I'll let it slide. To pair this with your TV, you need to add a companion USB dongle at the back of your TV in the USB port. So let's plug this in into the Samsung TV and turn it on. And there you go, it works fine. There's no option to calibrate the sensitivity of the air mouse, but for the most part, it works just fine. I can move my hand slightly and the cursor moves accordingly, so which makes sense. And I don't want to swing my arm around. Let's see if the keyboard works, but do you know what? Let's compare the typing experience side by side with the default remote. So I'll head over to Netflix and type in my credentials, the one with the TV remote and the other with the air mouse keyboard. Alright, so that was cool. Let's test this out on smart TVs now, shall we? Well, I tested it with the TCL regular TV, an LG TV running WebOS, Samsung smart TV, Mi TV running Android TV. A good way to test it is by using the regular USB mouse with your TV or streaming device. If the regular mouse works, then the Air mouse will most certainly work. Some devices like the Samsung TVs that run Tizen OS have partial mouse support. The mouse only works inside a browser, so keep that in mind before buying an air mouse, otherwise it'll act as a secondary remote with QWERTY. In fact, it even works on computers, which I didn't really expect, but it might come in handy if you're connecting your computer to a projector or even a bigger display. That said, since there's a lot of air mouse made by different Chinese manufacturers, there's no way you can be 100% sure. It worked for us, but I highly recommend you check the reviews before buying it. Okay, so the air mouse and keyboard work just fine, but do they actually work with the popular streaming devices like Fire TV Stick, Android TV boxes like Mi Box and Nvidia Shield TV? Let's test the Fire TV first. To get started, you just have to connect the air mouse dongle with the 3 way USB OTG dongle to your Fire TV Stick. And I'm sure you've done this already if you're an old viewer of this channel. Once you've done that, now you can navigate freely on your Fire TV stick. And the only caveat here is that there's a lack of Alexa button on the remote, which I'm pretty sure few use normally anyway. But you might say the Fire TV stick already has an app for the trigger mouse pointer. What's new about this? Well, the mouse toggle app is quite good and all, but it does not take things to the next level. But let's compare them both and see. So as you can see, the air mouse is significantly faster. Now I might sound a bit harsh towards Air Mouse, but I personally found that Air Mouse on par with what Nvidia Shield offers. Two remotes with different functionalities, one with surfing and one for gaming. But the thing that makes them better is the presence of a mic and a Google Assistant, which is what I use half the time on YouTube. The Air Mouse comes into the picture when I want to surf websites on the Chrome Android port or type something really long on my TV. The experience is almost the same on Mi Box as well. 
and it worked with all of them. The only downside is the lack of mouse toggle. The mouse toggle will work only with the devices which are directly connected. To fix this, make sure you connect the dongle directly to the streaming device. Well, it's all hunky-dory and I kind of like it so far, but does it have any problems at all? Like say, there's no voice input you get with Fire TV Remote and there's an extra receiver to take care of. If you lose the receiver, the air mouse is practically useless. Also, this could be a nitpick, but I can't wake up the TV with a remote. So there you go. That's how you use air mouse to effectively control your streaming device or even your TV. For the price, I'd really recommend it to anyone who owns a TV and wants to have a pleasant experience controlling or navigating. And also check out smartnessproxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Amazon Prime Video, there's a bunch of this, all for about 60 cents a day, which is bugger all, yeah? As always, I'm Vamzi, and if you're new here, subscribe, because we make videos on streaming devices and TVs, a bunch of those tech stuff. I'll see you in the next one.